Greetings, my name is Neo Second, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Freedom Planet. Now, where we last left off, I managed to once again successfully infiltrate Brevin's ship, this time as Carol, and I am slowly but surely on my way towards giving uh, Brevin the second beatdown that is coming to him. So, let's get started. There's really not, because there's really not much I can say beyond that. Hardly much to recap. Sorry once again for the uh what I'm about to do, Mila. That's it! 
You're next, Mr. Green. easier to, tra 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 to uh, traverse uh, this stage as Carol compared to Lila. That's certainly what I'm noticing. Still prefer to play as Lilac, though. Go, go, go! Get another wonder in my pockets, but... Well, who's keeping track at this point? Close to Brevin now. What you did is unforgivable! I have no use for forgiveness, especially from someone who puts my homeworld at risk for an oversized battery. I offer you one final chance. Leave. Now. No! You're dead! So be it. Do this, Bucko.
Stage one. One more. Oh yeah, in your face. I'll be taking that kingdom stone now. I'd like to see you try. Was totally my mistake. Also, wow, this is <laughs> that was phenomenally worse compared to last time. So sorry you had to see that, ladies and gentlemen. There we go.
Well, look at this way. At least you'll have some pretty impressive war scars. Just don't tell anybody that they came, that they came from a cat. Okay, so I'm going to assume that the uh, ending plays out entirely the same as uh, Lilacs, so if that's the case, I will skip straight to the credits if that's... She's alive! If I'm right. So, be right back. Probably. Most likely. So, yeah, nothing's different. Nothing at all. <laughs> no! Well, I made it through, but I wasn't particularly impressed with hey my you. overall. Thanks for playing. You're the coolest. Impossible! Impossible! I wasn't particularly impressed with my overall performance as Carol. I mean, I know that. I mean, I know that. Like I said in previous episodes, it's been a while since I la I last played Freedom Planet and everything, but. Still, I mean, imposter malicious software detected. Oh no, maybe I'm maybe I'm just more in tune with lilac's uh, gameplay time, style. Carry you for eternity in general, like it just clicks with me. Like, I don't really need to uh, spend much time getting reacquainted with her in order to really get her uh, gameplay gimmicks and all that. I don't know. Either way, I, the end result is the same, and I'm not exactly impressed with it. And I'm sure a lot of you uh, probably shook our heads a few times here at uh, the numerous uh, mistakes I made playing uh, the game as Carol again, and frankly, I don't blame you. The sad part is, I'm not expecting much better in, in when I uh, start Mila's route. But who knows? Maybe I'll maybe I'll end up surprising everybody, including myself. But uh, I'm not gonna hold my breath on that one. But still, for what it's worth, I felt like I was uh, getting in get back into the swing of using Carol and. Uh, Gain more used to her general gameplay style towards the end. It's just, I just wish it didn't have to take so long for me to reach that point to where I wasn't just outright making a fool of myself. Well, compared to how I was at the beginning, anyway. I don't know, maybe most of you may feel different that. I don't know, maybe I didn't do too badly, but the bottom line is I felt like I did. And I don't want to keep repeating myself, so... I will just... I guess that's all I really have to say. I definitely prefer uh, Lilac's uh, gameplay style. It's just more... Like, it's, I'm just more used to it. It's more my particular thing. At least luckily, I'll still be able to uh, play as Lilac in the sequel, when it finally comes. So... Yeah, all we have left is uh, Mila's route. And then I will be officially done with Freedom Planet. After I'm done with Freedom Planet, though... I think I'm gonna go and uh, start a new series that is totally different in tone from what we've seen here in this game. And perhaps some of you might have heard about it. I'm thinking, in the next series I start after I finish this one, of covering Doki Doki Literature Club. I know next to absolutely nothing about it, and I intend to keep it that way when I start playing, and when I start playing, and even long after. So, 
Look forward to that if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in seeing me cover. Now, without further ado, let's get started on Mila's route. Meanwhile, in an underground tunnel. And we are now starting Mila's route. And right from the get-go, we're playing an exclusive stage for Mila only. Which to me is nice, because we'll be able to see something completely new right from the get-go of me starting the character. Thing that you'll uh, notice besides uh, her reliance on her uh, barriers and uh, other little uh, ways to relax is she's got very little health compared to Lilac and, and uh, Carol. So you gotta be especially careful fighting enemies of any kind because otherwise they'll make short work of you. Bosses can, are going to be potentially a lot harder because of that. But at the same time, they might be a lot easier too, because some of Carol's movesets are particularly uh, strong against certain bosses. I don't remember exactly which ones, but I know that... Uh, it was very easy. It was very easy to make short work of uh, certain bosses playing with Mila compared to Lilac or even Carol. Specifically, a piranha. You look like you need more sleep. You see a lot of wrinkles around your eyes. Well, we're already through the first half of this stage. So far, so good. I'm not going to say more because I'm afraid to jinx myself. For those of you who have uh, played the uh, Power Rangers beat em up on the Super Nintendo as a kid, I wonder, can, many, can any of you pick up any similarities to the background music 
in terms of its melody with the very first stage of uh, that old beat em up game. Because I think that part of uh, Aqua Tunnel's uh, stage music was partially inspired by uh, some of Power Rangers' uh, video game on the Super Nintendo. At least for a couple melodies here, at least a little, couple parts of the melody here and there. But, uh, yeah. I, uh, found out about that little tidbit when I was, whenever I, uh, I don't remember when exactly I found out, but it was a YouTube comment or something I saw somewhere pointing out uh, the similarities in a couple of parts of the song to uh, the first stage, uh, first stage's music of Power Rangers. And once I compared the two, they sounded very damn similar. Exactly similar, I must say. idea how to get to that special item I saw. Well, I found this one, though. Okay. Air, air, I need air. There we go. Back to full health again, and I see another thing over there. I'm gonna go down here, see if I can find you. And I did! Hell yeah. Eh, let's just try going another way. There we go. See the piranha has That was pretty easy. Yay! That was fun! Guess what I got, Mr. Stumpy? The secret ingredient for my super feather potion! I'll fly real high in the clouds so I can find my mommy and daddy. And we'll all live happily ever after. Like in the stories. Doesn't that sound great? <laughs> You're so funny when you don't say anything. 
You're an, I don't think you're a good friend, Mr. Stumpy. You should say something. What's going on? Still, though, I feel bad for you, Mila, having to live out <laughs> all by yourself in the wilderness. A dragon? Seeing her was undoubtedly the best thing that ever happened to you. Well, we're going to have to save that inevitable meeting for the next episode, Mila. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this latest episode of Freedom Planet. If you did and you want to uh, see more content from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.